I don't know about you, but there's just been so much research coming out. It is impossible to keep up with. So uh, I'm working on a project right now, and I thought it might be good to show you all uh, one of my prompts and how it's working, and hopefully it helps you too. So this is really around, uh, you know, we got Professor Synapse here, of course, uh, and we want to create an engaging expert in science communication, uh, really around making, <laughs> making all this stuff more accessible at least to me, I don't have a research background. And, and either way, I think it's good to look at something overall to see if it's worth diving into. So the general idea of this prompt is, you know, I'm using plugins right now. I have the archive plugin enabled because that's pretty much where all the articles are coming from. Uh, so we'll just input that article that we're interested in summarizing, and it's going to output a summary for us. Uh, then once it gets our feedback on that summary, it'll give us some keywords. And then just for you social media people out there, if you find it's worth sharing, you can create an engaging LinkedIn post uh, as well as a tweet. I say with no hashtags because I'm on threads right now, not really Twitter. So obviously you can change this up to anything, you know, a TikTok script or uh, whatever. And then getting the feedback and just getting three quotes at the end. I like this because maybe you can make this a Canva or something from those quotes, whatever it might be. And just a couple of constraints here, you know, keep things kind of short. And we want the URL for the article, so you don't have to copy paste and everything. So uh, as always, I end with a, a phrase like this so I can control the output. If you understand, say whatever you want it to say and wait for me to respond. So I give it the article. It does a pretty good job of breaking it down in terms of the main points. Again, you can change the tone here. I said as like pretend I'm a 10th grader. You know, a little bit more than a high school, uh, middle schooler, but keep, keep it in high school. And then it asked me for feedback just in case. So obviously you can say like, nah, I wanted to focus more on this or what about this? You know, give it some feedback, but we'll just move on for now. You'll see then it outputs the keywords. It's important to just have it do this first before creating its post, because then it's just naturally going to use these keywords in the post. And then you'll see it creates our LinkedIn post with the hashtags and the article URL in a tweet as well. And then last but not least, you'll see a grade again, uh, and then it searches the paper and it comes up with these three quotes. So that's how this works. Feel free to play around with it and definitely share research articles worth sharing so we can all keep each other informed.